this is Jin Diamond with you again, and this time I will be going over the newest edition of CMD Rogue, 0003 Beta. Now, I know this has been a long time since I've ever actually made an update video of this game. Um, a lot of things have changed, and unfortunately, I have not uh, made separate versions for each update you know, and stored in an update folder, which would have been really cool to see how it's come along, but I haven't yet. Um, as you can see, the title screen is still here. Still use arrow keys and all that. Um, I might use something later called CMD Menu Select, which will allow you to use your mouse, like just scroll over it in the highlights, which would be pretty awesome. Uh, but that's not implemented yet. Um, let's see, I need to give credit where credit is due. Thank you to Christian XD. Without him, CMD Rogue would probably be still floating around in the back of my brain. He really helped me with uh, the combat, combat debugging and re screen rendering debugging. He's helped me with a lot of debugging. I mean, I kind of lost touch with him a, a year ago, which is really sad because he was really great with helping me. Uh, Colton, he, <laughs> without him, I would not be here doing this caliber of batch files today. I w there's no way I would be doing this. Um, Charlie Nash, he's helped me out with um, some good, with, with some uh, debugging, you know, combat debugging, combat mechanics. Ethan Brooks, he's helping me with a maze generator. And yes, the soundtracks are by Sonic Clang and Simon Volpert. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but this is actually based on Doom the Roguelike put a link down in the description, awesome roguelike, you should go check it out, help them donate, whatnot. So without further ado, um, let me show you the aspects and then I guess I'll show you some highlights of the source code. Okay, this now has difficulty. You can choose easy, medium, hard. The only difference is how many monsters it generates. So let's just do easy first. Um, when you start, this still happens, the screen garbling. Um, I really need to figure out how to fix that. Which would be really awesome if I could, but I can't really do that. For some reason, this cute stupid thing keeps showing up. Okay, meanwhile. Um, oh, I think that's like file size, but I'll get rid of that later. Um, let's see. Yeah, I fixed the message thingy where it now actually displays one line, I think. Yes, it does. Good, okay. Now, I don't know if you can tell on this one because there's only one monster. But I fixed something called the Immortal Monster Bug. Um, the Immortal Monster Bug happens when there's more than one monster. And when you hit it, only the first monster rendered will actually take damage and die. I guess for any monster. If I hit like the third monster rendered, only the first one will die. Which is really stupid. Um, for some reason, the, um, I mean, the message log I got fixed really well. Um, but for some reason your messages don't show up, which I think has to do with the GoTo EOF exception. Um, you might be wondering, well, why am I not killing them fast enough, like, as much as I used to? Well, that's because you actually now have a 50% chance of hitting them. Um, I have yet to make the monster have a 50% chance of hitting you to make it fair, but that's why I took, like, a buttload of damage, like, 30, like, 20 hit points. Um, I don't know if this will work if I still have this... Yes, this is another floor I made, but I mean, it's, it's just not, it, it's in beta, you know? You just sent the floor. I mean, I kind of like how I fixed the message log a little bit, but, you know, there's some room for improvement there. Like, a lot. Okay, um, let's quit. That should not have happened, but let's start up again. Debug mode? No. The, de the, de bleh. the debug mode makes the screen really long and actually shows you the monsters positions and whatnot um, let's do easy again good there's two monsters now um, for some reason they have like a really bad habit of like oh oh that was that was harsh they have like a really bad habit of stacking up on top of each other which I need to fix oh man okay I just gotta wait for them to uh because, I mean, the random walk thing still works now. I mean, yeah, I'm taking a buttload of damage. Good, okay, so 
let's see if I can kill this monster too without dying, which I really don't, I don't know. Oh yeah, I killed him, three health left. And if you notice, like they actually died this time, which is pretty awesome. And I'm just checking to make sure that the corpses don't kill me. Cause you know, you don't want stuff ha like that happening. Um, there's, there's easy. I mean, let's start, let's try something else. Let's try medium. Um, like any bash game, the more monsters you have, the slower it is to render. And I really need to fix that, which, you know, could something to be desired. But you know, I've been going through my code trying to optimize it. Uh, I don't know, guys. I think I might die. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. I didn't die. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Okay. Now on to the code. Hey, as you can see, this has been started April 29th, 2012. That's almost, well, not quite, almost two years ago. I mean, I think I'll give, like, a two-year anniversary update. Um, feel free to use any part of game as long as the credits are given. Yes. Now, here's the thing. I will show you where, because parts of this, one part of this is actually not my code. Um, here, this Pythagorean theorem, this is not my code. Um, this is not my code. I, I will find it again online where I got it. And then I'll put that link in the description so that you guys can check it out. Yeah, all of this, all of this part right here is, is just not my code. Um, this is a Pythagorean theorem code that determines how far away the monster is from you. Um, I have it rounded up so it works. Um, you know, let's go over some optimizations. Okay, first thing, first thing to note is that, uh, Nested for statements are really screwy. Um, I'll be going over that in a later video um, about called the truth of for statements. Now, this for statement right here is actually very fine because for some reason, when you nest a for statement, but the first for statement doesn't have any parameters or it doesn't do any operations that are used in a second nested for statement. Everything is just fine and dandy. But the minute you try to add something into it, like I did here at one point, it, it just screwed everything up. What was happening here was that monsters were stacking up in a line vertically, and it could not, could not figure out how to fix it to save my life. Then I realized, oh, well, no, I didn't realize. Colton, he told me, hey, well, just use the outer force statement as a go-to loop, and hey, it works. It's slower. Um, in my next video, the truth about four statements, I'll show you exactly how fast four statements go compared to go to loops, and they actually go pretty darn fast compared to go to loops. Um, which is kind of, which is really why I was really sad about losing that four statement because that took a lot of time to render. Um, let's see where else was a uh, like this four statement right here was also screwing things up, so we had to fix that to go to loop. Um, I also found that go to's, no, if statements are actually faster than go to's, what I originally had was go to error level, which would have gone to right to the error level. But, um, I found that after testing, if statements are faster. So I'm like, hey, you know, just change it to if statements. You know, it's a little mess here, but, you know, fast is fast. That's what you want in batch games. You want fast. Um, down here is the. AI right here random two. this will generate either a one or a zero and if it's one then you actually get to hit the monster but if not then you miss the monster and for some reason for some strange reason the go to EF, go to EOF does not actually work um I'll have to I'll have to consult some other people about that because that's just really weird it works but it doesn't work um then this is just some really horrendous code that I've never touched in years, like literally two years, never touched this combat code, and I should probably rewrite the whole entire game, but I really don't feel like it, um, but you know what, I think I accidentally, um, 
yeah, I think I accidentally got rid of the, um, yeah, I got rid of the, uh, do you want to quit screen? Well, I'll fix that later. Anyway, that's the MD Rogue Beta 3. Um, that's really all there is to show about this. There's, there isn't much. I mean, it's just bare bones, which, you know, is cool, but not cool. Um, I, you know what I could do is I could show you one thing I am working on. I am working on something called Rand Maze. I had to just throw everything into one folder on my desktop because it was getting way too full. Um, I think this goes the X, Y, and then the C, then the file. So let's do 10 by 10, C to 4, and test. Text. Huh. There we go. It's just Rand Maze. Um, let's try C to 1. I don't even know if I actually... Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is what happens. Um, this is actually my, my testing... So, yeah, it's my dungeon generator and batch, which obviously doesn't look like it does much at all. But um, the seed, the seed determines how many subdivisions, and it looks like one subdivision would include an X and Y subdivision. Um, the coordinates are actually kind of cool. I made it so that 10 by 10 actually means uh, 10 movable by 10 movable. X and Y instead of just 10 by 10 including the walls um so let's try a seed of two yeah see um two subdivisions and see this is where bugs happen I don't have any I thought I made error checking to make sure that's going to happen like the wall being right next to another wall but I guess I didn't so there's three and then there's really a limit actually there's like I think five is pretty much the one before it becomes unmovable um, we could do 5 with 20 by 20. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it, it works, but... It's like communism. It would, looks good on paper, but not in practice. I'll probably get a bunch of dislikes for that one. But anyway, that is CMD Rogue. Um, the download link will be in the description. Um, it is posted on fargames.net, which is a program group I am part of, and yeah, um, this is the latest one. I should have a new release later, but I mean, right now I gotta, I gotta practice for a, uh, for an audition at the Crane School of Music. I'm mean, auditioning on clarinet, I'll be going for music theory, um, correction, I'll be going for a master's in computer science, bachelor's in music theory, and a doctorate in theoretical physics. I'll probably be stuck at college for 20 years, but hey, learning's learning, right? So yeah, stay in school, stay off drugs, and see you next time.